it's, it's also I mean, a, a, a long sort of process at the same time. I mean, quite recently, there's, you know, a lot of evidence from from Wales, from England of trade uh, with 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 Muslim nations. I mean, you found sort of coins yeah. from, you know, the, you know, Umayyad, you know, uh, uh, period and, and, you know, going back really, really to the early parts of this this country so we were we were quite a sort of um uh, uh, it's a quite derided sort of term these days but multicultural and multi-faith country for quite yeah, a we, long period of time we were i mean there's evidence of that here in york you know which obviously was a big roman settlement as as there is in colchester and, yeah. and in other places and i think the other thing which i i, I learned this actually when i when i went to northern ireland for the first time um that actually the, the, the trade routes by sea were often more secure than the trade routes by land. Mm. And, so, um, and so there's very, very close relationships between, say, Belfast and Glasgow and have been for centuries and centuries and centuries. And that's actually because the sea passage was much safer yeah, to go course. by sea, yeah, actually. Yeah. There were, you know, you could, see, you could see the pirates and the bandits coming yeah. um, in the way that you couldn't when you travelled by road. So those old, those ancient seafaring, and of course, this nation has always been a seafaring nation, yeah. um, and therefore has had these links around the world, you know, which which we think are relatively new, mm. but actually are deeply ingrained in our history. <laughs>